How was practice today? Uh, I didn't think it was our best. You know, it's, uh, we got a lot of work in and probably got better at some points, but you know, I think it was uh, the first time in camp that I thought we looked a little soft. And uh, that's what I told the team. So we got to correct that for tomorrow. Given uh, last week and then the fact that you had just started, you could really say that this is really the first game, our first practice, that everything is clicking? Or? No, I mean, that, that, I mean, what happened last week was a long week and it was tragic. It should have no bearing on what today's practice was or is or tomorrow's will be. So, you know, I, I don't think our, I think our guys just, it was Monday morning, and, you know, they came a little bit warm and played, I thought we practiced a little soft. But I'll watch the film to confirm that. How are the uh, sent, the new center candidates coming along? You know, it's been the same candidates all along, so they're doing all right. You know, I don't know who's going to start, the starter's going to be, but uh, they're working pretty hard. It's a good group of guys. What do you like about what Sonny's been able to do with his body heading this year? Well, he's lost weight. He's in great shape. Uh, looks like he's, uh, you know, ready to play, you know, a lot of plays, which I hope we don't have to have any D-linemen play, 70, 80 plays, but Sonny's in good enough shape to do that. What, what kind of defensive lineman are you looking for now in recruiting? Oh, I'd like to have a guy about 6'5", 290, <laughs> runs a 4'6", tough, physical, smart, athletic. Any of those out there? <laughs> um, yeah, everybody wants him. Now we got enough to get done, but I'm not, you know, I don't think we're deep enough uh, or big enough yet. And we'll address that in recruiting, but we got good enough guys to win with. We just got to play really hard. What are some of Dane's best traits right now? Who? Dane. Good well, he's, uh, he's a competitive guy. He's got great size, good athletic ability, and, and uh, he's had a pretty good camp. I don't know who our starting corners are going to be, but uh, we got a lot of get bodies there, more than we've had in the past several years. Was Dane close to playing last year? Probably, particularly special teams. I think he could have helped us on special teams right away, but uh, there was so much to learn that I'm glad we were able to redshirt him. Is there any update on Zach Benjamin's status? No, I haven't heard anything. It's just, yeah, it's kind of disappointing. I would like to, we'd like to see if they can uh, uh, get that moving pretty quickly. Like I said, it seems ridiculous that a guy walks on and, and, uh, and he's not eligible and you play your own way. So, but we'll see. What about Keenan Walker? What about him? Is he reinstated or not yet? Well, he's walking around the field, working with strength coaches. He's not practicing right yet. Is he part of the 105 at this point? No, because if he was part of 105, he'd be practicing. He'd be practicing. Yeah. When uh, when did you first recognize that uh, that uh, Jamal Adai might have you know coaching DNA in him? Probably when he played for me as a true freshman out of high school at West Virginia. Yeah, that's pretty rare at this level. And so, you know, seeing his uh, ability to process the game, you know, and he's got a great personality, he's a really good recruiter. And uh, it's a, you know, right away, he'd, you know, be a really good coach, and he's proven to be that. Do you remember what you thought about him as a high school prospect? Yeah, he, he played wing back in a, in a wing tee offense, so I didn't know if he could backpedal and play <laughs> safety. But he was a tough guy, played in a good program, and. Uh, was really just smart. He just had it, you know what I mean? He has it and comes from a great family. So uh, he's, I've been fortunate to have been around him quite a bit. How did it help uh, Vince Amy to be around the program, especially as a strength coach where you, you know, you work with everybody? Yeah, I think it really did help. One, he knew all the kids and, uh, you know, he worked with the D-line in the weight room. So he knew uh, quite a bit about them and he had some experience coaching, but uh, and he was the first guy, you know, as soon as we had an opening, say, hey, coach, I wanted to do this. And he kept bugging me, which is okay. I told him to keep bugging me. And uh, he was he was persistent. And, I, again, I think he's uh, he's got the right kind of personality and, and uh, I'll do a good job for us. Anything else? Okay, guys. Okay, thanks, Thank guys. You, coach.